hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a birthday flyer using photoshop so now let's get started into the design so here are the things i'm going to use in the tutorial so now the first thing i'm going to do now i'm going to copy this color code ctrl plus c to copy hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle Then I'm going to remove the outline color, which is the stroke. Then I'm going to reduce it. I will reduce it like this, it's okay. Then I'm going to apply this color for now. I'm going to duplicate this one then I'll turn off this one while I'll be using this one so now I'm going to turn off the fill color then and apply this color to the stroke then the stroke I'm going to increase it by 4% Or you can also increase it to 5 as you want. Alright, let me use 5. Then, and I'm going to change it to this dash dash here. Alright, so here I have the number I'm going to use. 4266. Then, as you can see, I have 42 here. Here I'm going to enter 6, then here 6. Here 50, then and the last one is 40. Then I will enter 40 here. Alright, you can see how it come out. Okay, then I'm going to increase it. Then I will increase it this way. Then also duplicate it. Now, then reduce this one. Then hold your Alt key to reduce it. Then duplicate it again. Ctrl plus J. Then hold your Alt key. Then to reduce it. Then I'm going to duplicate it again. Then duplicate it once more. Alright. So, like it is now. Then, then I'll, turn, I'll turn this one on to see the level of it. Okay, I'll turn it off again. Then, why I will select this one, hold your shift key, then you click. Then I'm going to increase this one. Hold your alt key so that all of them will go in line together. Then I'm going to turn this one on. Then align this one together. Then I'm going to apply the vertical then and the horizontal alignment so that this one will be at the center. Then Ctrl D to deselect. Okay. So now I'm going to turn this one off again. Then I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select this three. Then I will rotate it this way. So you can see how it come out now.
then I will also rotate this one this way so you can see the outcome of it all right now I will go back to my background here then so I'm going to apply a gradient fill now so the first thing I'm going to copy this color code Control plus C then come over to your color select the gradient then click here here I'm going to paste the, co the color I copy then and the location is 9 then come over here again then I'm going, I'm going to copy this one Control plus C then remember the location of this one is 100 then I remember this code here 46 again. I'm going to enter them so that you see it. Then paste this one, Ctrl plus V. Then OK. All right. You can see the location is 100%. Then here, turn this one on. Then increase the opacity to 100%. So you can see the changes now. All right. Then come back here again. Then I'm going to move this thing you are seeing here. Then to what? To 46. All right, you can see there. Okay. So then click OK. Then on this angle, I'm going to turn it to 0%. So you can see the changes now. Then I'll click OK. All right so then now i'm going to turn on this one select everything then use your arrow key then to move this one up then i will reduce the size a bit then position it this way okay now what i'm going to do now then i'll select all this one then i'm going to so group this one ctrl plus g so group it okay now click on this one then i'm going to bring this image Then you drag in the image to import it. Then I will position the image the way I will like it. Okay, it's okay like this. Now, what I'm going to do next now, then I'm going to hold my control key. Then you click on this one, this cycle. Then select the image. Then apply your layer mask. Okay, so as you can see, now I'm going to select my brush. Or you press B on your keyboard. Then select soft brush. Then come over here to turn this one to white. Then you clean it up. Okay, so that is it. Okay, now this one and this cycle, I'm going to change the color. Then I'm going to change the color to this color here. So you can see it. Then you can also apply a drop shadow. So then here you can see now I have multiply and the, my opacity is 80 then the distance is 2 then spread is 0 then and the size is 18 so click OK so 
So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this one. Or you drag it here. So now I'm going to move it above this image. Then right click, then create a clipping mask. So now I'm going to select okay what i'm going to do now so you double click this one then select it then come over here then we are going to change this color then to this color here from the stroke okay so you change the color to the stroke then you click ok now this one here, I'm going to input 50. So, then you can drag this one over here. Then you click OK. So, you can see the changes there now that apply around here. Alright. So, come back to your background. So here, I'm going to apply this flora so you can see it. Then I'm going to reduce the opacity to around 22. Okay. So, it's okay like this. Then, I will also bring this one. Then you drag it over here. All right. Now you scale it out. Then you click OK. So here yeah, now I'm going to use. So you see between these two anyone you can use either you use multiply or you use overlay but i'm going to use overlay here then and i'm going to reduce the opacity to around 50 it's too much Okay, let me take you back to 100. Then I'm going to blur it. Go to filter, blur, then you select Gaussian blur. Then increase it to 4.8. It's okay. It's okay. So then you have something like this. So the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to apply a new layer. Then select my pen tool. Then change it to shape. Then I'll click here. Then I'll drag it this way. Hold your alt key. Then you click here. Then you click like you then you click it like this. Hold your alt key again, you click here. Then you click out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, then you hold your alt key again, then you click here. You click outside, you click outside. Then you join it together here. So you can see it. Now, what I'm going to do now, then I'm going to either you select convert to a point here or you leave it this way. Then you hold your control key. Then you adjust here.
then you adjust here so you can also move it then you move it arrange it the way you want it now what i'm going to do now i'm going to duplicate this one then select your pocket tool then i'm going to change the color to black then apply the black color okay now i'm going to expand this one then i will rotate it then bring it over here something like this then drag this one okay now this is what we have then this one then i'm going to rotate it this way then use my arrow key then to move it up this way okay so the next thing now i'm going to do then i'm going to bring my my brush so select another layer again then go to your brush then i'm going to use this effect here then i'm going to click here then and i'll click here So, okay, now reduce the opacity, then to fade in the brush, so okay like this. The another one again I'm going to do I'm going to draw a rectangle remove the stroke then draw a rectangle over here Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to duplicate it. Then hold down your Alt key. Then you drag it this way. Okay, I'm going to use this five. Then hold your shift key, then you select this one. Then for the next thing, I will convert it to smart object. Then hold down your alt key again. Sorry, I missed one. Control Z, then select this one. Then convert to smart object. Hold down your alt key. Then and your shift key, then you drag it this way. So now I also have five here. Then I will hold down, I will hold my shift key, then you click like this. 
then you drag it up here now group it so reduce the opacity eighteen percent is okay so you can see what you have there so if you like you can reduce the size so this way so the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to bring in my test so control plus C to copy select your test to then control plus V to paste then I'm going to give it this yellow color then the font here is Helvetica insert then I'm going to rotate it this way then ctrl plus j to duplicate it or you drag it here then select your test tool then ctrl plus a to alight it then I'm going to change this test here ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then I'm going to change this one to small letter then I'm going to change the font to hostly Then you rotate it. So, then bed it again. I'm going to rotate it. All right then group it so you can expand it as you want okay all right so the next thing again i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to t on the keyboard for test to then and i'm going to change this test to Josephine Sans, then Ctrl plus V, then to paste, and this one I'm going to change the font color to this color here, then increase the character spacing, open it, Then Ctrl plus A to select, then apply your vertical alignment, then Ctrl plus D to deselect, Ctrl plus 0 then to fit your design. Okay, so now this is what we have designed. So this font here. I'm thinking of changing it so select your test tool again let me try try jump pro okay so I think this one is okay so you can make it 
bold by clicking on this one all right now you select the bold one for here make it bold so you can see oh now ctrl plus a again then apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect all right so now i'm going to group this one hold your shift key then you drag it here or ctrl plus g to group it so now this is what we have designed so far so if you are new here please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video thank you so much i really appreciate